Hey guys, I'm Jason. In this product overview video, we're going to be taking a look at the Servo Travel Tuner. If you've worked with servos before, especially if you're running them off of a transmitter and receiver, you've probably run into the situation where you wish it rotated a little further or maybe not quite as far as it rotates. And there are a lot of factors that affect how far that servo is gonna rotate when you plug it into your receiver. The settings on your receiver, the brand of that receiver, the brand of your servo, whether that servo has been programmed and how it's been programmed. So sometimes it can be really hard to judge exactly how far it's gonna go and you can certainly calculate it out. Uh, but we wanted to make that a simple task and make it really easy to dial in the amount of rotation that you get. The new servo travel tuner is a drop-in solution to that problem. You simply need to plug it in, adjust some knobs, and you can get the rotation to be what you want it to be. Let's actually plug one in and I'll walk you through the process. As you can see here, I have two identical servos, both with a servo arm attached and one is plugged in through a Y harness into the receiver. And if I were to plug this other servo into that Y harness, they would both move identically because they're operating off of the same signal. But what I'm going to do instead is plug the servo travel tuner in line with this second servo so that we can see the difference that that servo travel tuner is having on the servo's rotation as compared to the first one. Next, I simply need to turn on my transmitter and plug in my battery into my receiver. Now, I have these servos connected to channel 6, which is the dial in the transmitter here. So as you can see, their rotation is the same at this moment in time. On the servo travel tuner, you have three trim pots one for each end point and one for the middle uh, point adjustment. So the way you wanna set this is to turn the dial all the way in one direction and adjust one of these trim pots. Now, which one do I adjust? Uh, to find that out, it's real simple. You just start to adjust one of the trim pots and if it moves the arm of your servo, then that's the one you wanna adjust for that position on your dial or on, on your gimbal, depending on what you're using to control it. So if I want to get some more travel, I'll just adjust it in whatever direction gives me that more travel. And then I can move my dial all the way to the other end of the spectrum and adjust the other end trim pot. And that is about as much rotation as this little servo can give me. Now, most servos are gonna have some sort of physical limitation inside as to how far they can rotate. There's, there's going to be a physical stop. Um, so this can't make the servo rotate farther than that, um, but, it, but it can give you more rotation than most servos are gonna have working off of your average transmitter and receiver. So now you can see as I rotate the dial on my transmitter, the servo that's being controlled by the servo travel tuner is rotating much, much farther than the other. It's not always about getting more travel. Sometimes it's about getting less travel. Uh, recently, I was building a project at home and I wanted that servo to lift a lifting arm on a little chassis. And I really didn't want 180 degrees of rotation. I just needed a little bit. And something like this makes solving that problem very, very simple. And because it's a GoBuilda product, it of course has GoBuilda compatible mounting holes on it. So those two holes are in the 16 square pattern and can fasten directly to your GoBuilda channel or other GoBuilda components. We hope that you find this video and this product super useful. We look forward to seeing what you build with it. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, shoot us an email to tech at GoBuilda.com.